guys, welcome back to Pyjamas Adventures. My name is Ren. Today, playing Hogwarts Legacy in PlayStation 5. I, ha I have a lot of backlogs. I haven't recorded for two weeks now, but I will still continue God of War, One Piece Odyssey, and Pokemon Scarlet in PlayStation 5. I in Nintendo Switch, rather. So, this is a part of my childhood, so I just want to start it as soon as I can. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I haven't tried the game. I haven't watched any gameplays yet, so... I don't know what to expect. Hopefully, I don't have a Menu hard reader. Off. Press L2 button to toggle. Same as... God of War, I don't think I need anything to change here. Yep, let's just do that. Let's continue. High fidelity. Yep, accept. Same rewards, well, I just skip for now. Just the slider until the image is barely seen. Visible. Yep. We can deal with that. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins in 1st of September. Pr preliminary supply have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware of the decree for reasonable restrictions of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eldazar Fig to help you hone your spell castings before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and searching ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Deputy Headmistress, so Weasley, is this one of Ron's ancestor? So I remember this was in 1800s, early, uh, late 1800s, or early 1900s, so what look should I go for? Uh, browner, I just want a browner character, maybe this one. Yep. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yep. I will select this one. Over. Why do I have a scar in my eye? Yep. I think I can go with this one. Dark card. If I need to change my hair, not really. Uh, score. Maybe one here. Yeah, that's my original score. Yep, yeah, maybe on the left eye. And I did it again. Just need brown. Oh, should be good. I brown color. It's fine. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. <laughs> I thought there would be two, two male voice. 
I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That feels this is Hermione's voice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. And this is Harry's voice. I did not expect that. I thought there would be two male voices to choose from. Didn't expect that to be a female. Yeah. Let's lower the pitch, I think. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, I like this. Switch, yeah, I just want to be normal. I'm just name your character. If I change it to which? Yeah, I prefer reset. Uh, what would be my name? I don't want it to be the first name, pajamas, last name, night. Yeah, I want name it with my actual second name. Ray. Yep, then last name will be pajamas. The name of the channel. Pajamas. Yep. And I think that would be enough. I thought it will take a lot of time in the customization, but it yeah, that was it. The good ones. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh. <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Yeah, this guy is sketchy. And where are the horses? Do we have horses? We don't have. It's a magic, yeah, it's a magic carousel for carpet or whatever it is called. Who is that guy? Warner Brothers Kings. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. by the dragon and the part of the part was smashed Surprising. The early parts of the Are game. you alright? You're hurt. Sand and Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Let's heal. Oh, we got full heal. What full happened? Heal. Poor George. I can't believe he. Yeah, poor what George. Who got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Yeah, poor George. But that key you discovered was clearly a portkey. Portkey? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Get smashed by a dragon. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. He gets smashed by a dragon's jaw. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. 
If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah. Yeah, this is such a heavy thing at the start of Mind the your step. Someone just died. Where do you suppose your wife got the pool key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. <clears throat> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Mr. Camera, right joystick to select an active target. Simply use report to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. We're close now, it's just ahead. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The movement map shows your surrounding with you, purple arrow in the middle. This symbol is your current objective. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. 
Interesting. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. On the other side of the room. Hello. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Hmm. 
wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. the last time this vault was accessed a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years in that time no one has visited vault 12 until today vault 12 thank you for your help What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lead the way. Oh, Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? 
When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. So I'm the only one who I see anything. There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Let's cast Lumos. How do we use Lumos? Evaporate the one lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light that at the lip of your wand to help you see in darkness. Revelio! Okay. Hold our turn top. Revelio. What should I do? I hold Arthur. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Yes, sir. 
Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where did the professor Where am I supposed to? Turn him up. What's happening? Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That's where they're leading me. That glow is Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Arger and Portego to stun enemies to stupefy other attacks. Stun enemies take less damage. Okay. Thank you. 
did you what is this place i don't know but i found this floating above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories i wonder in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. 
Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all oh, look rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key and you did terrible. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well. Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Hi there. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. have a hard time on the, the next yeah I had a hard time on the monsters or night statues yeah so I think that would be 
the end for the first episode I st I'm still downloading some of the game content so we'll continue next time uh, for the next chapter or next part of this of the Hogwarts legacy so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe see you in the next one bye